It is true, we got to demolish the buildings on the site for Urban V to start construction. Welcome back to Channel Zero News. After months of meticulous preparation and years of construction, the much-anticipated urban vein has been unveiled to the public. An example of the harmonious integration of sustainability, technological innovation, educational enlightenment, tourism, and biodiversity preservation. Urban Vein achieves net zero energy with devices inspired by local flora, honoring biodiversity and sustainability. Let us now delve deeper into the intricacies of Urban Vein by turning our attention to on-site investigation. I now pass the baton to our correspondent, Terence. Much obliged, James. Presently, we find ourselves amidst the vibrant ambience of Urban Vein where enthusiasm abounds. Join us as we endeavour to glean insights from the public regarding their perspectives on this latest government-led infrastructure endeavour. The government's bridge idea isn't bad. Seriously, the shopping got us hooked, and it's the perfect spot for our dates. So comfy. Yeah, with shopping and tons of other stuff to do, plus aircon, and I admit the renewable energy stuff is pretty cool. Tide, it's like a slice of heaven. Seriously, this structure is a lifesaver. It's a magical oasis of coolness. I can jog without melting into a sweaty mess, and I had no idea about its sustainable features until you mentioned it. Cool surprise, huh? Urban Bain, whatever they call it, what matters is the food traffic. Business is booming since they opened this bridge. I'm selling more and making cash. Sustainability, all is good if I get to buy a car. Urban Bain stands as a testament to visionary government initiatives, seamlessly blending convenience with sustainability. Interviews show widespread acclaim for its enhancement of daily life, despite public enthusiasm centering on amenities. Urban Vein redefines urban living, uniting functionality with sustainability, ushering in progress for city state. are to be replaced by robots to increase manufacturing efficiency. Increase deforestation to keep up with new production speeds. Increase possibility of landslides. Pollutions levels in the sea and atmosphere still increasing globally, despite sustainable efforts. Riots break out globally as factories turn to robots. To has increased military trainings and is suspected of preparing for war breaks out causing global trade routes to be broken. Fossil fuels reserves globally are drying up quickly. Due to a lack of imports, Singapore is now depending on food and energy reserves. Singapore is now rationing electricity to ensure that the country can continue functioning. Singaporeans are Singapore is now Singapore is now facing Singapore is Singapore is Singapore is Singapore 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 Once hailed as a beacon of innovation and advancement, the urban veins infrastructure is now grappling with an unprecedented dilemma. Without any fossil fuels to burn for energy, the urban vein is struggling to uphold its power supply. Let's look deeper into the challenges confronting the local residents. Over to you, Hazik. Thank you, Angie. Singapore now finds itself depending on the remaining resources available. Consequently, the urban vein has redirected its power supply away from the bridge and towards other areas in the region. Given that numerous facilities heavily rely on this power supply, many businesses within the vicinity have ceased operations, including gift shops, hawker stalls, and even the performing musicians. Also, with the high cost of maintenance of these infrastructures, authorities have opted to halt their usage, resulting in some parts deteriorating, rusting, and falling apart. Let us now see what the people have to say. Honestly, we used to bring our kids to the playground regularly, but it's gone downhill since maintenance stopped. All the monkey bars fell while my son was climbing, and now he's injured, both arms. Yeah, my other son got an infection from the rust. After that, we decided not to come back. The authorities really need to address this like, ASAP. What a disappointment. Travelled halfway across the world to revisit Urban Vein again after a few years, and what do I find? Closed shops, unbearable humidity. It was like a sauna. My customers vanish. Ghost town every day. Urban Vein car power. Cute business. Last time with power booming. Government, why? Remove power. Expect normal business? No way. The urban vein currently exhibits in signs of neglect, evident through its abandoned state and extensive damage. Its current condition renders it inoperable. There is a potential for improvement, 
potentially through government intervention in the foreseeable future. Now, back to you in the studio, Angie. Thank you, Hazrit. Now, this just it. During a police raid earlier today, the project director, contractor, and architect of the urban raid has been detained by the police at 11.23 a.m. They are detained under the Public Works Accountability Act and the criminal breach of trust. The court opening date for this case is to be confirmed, but is predicted to be in the second half of the year. The urban vein now stands as a mere shadow of its former glory. What was once envisioned as a thriving community hub has now succumbed to desolation and hopelessness. The authorities have acknowledged the failure of this infrastructure endeavor and have pledged swift action. Plans are already in motion for its demolition, clearing the path for a new vision of urban development. Will this herald a brighter future, or will the mistakes of the past repeat themselves once more? Thank you.